Hello, uh, today I'm going to be talking about the first episode of Sherlock, uh, season 4, it was called The Six Thatchers. I actually, w I wanted to upload this video the day after the episode aired, and I filmed it and had it ready, well, thought I was going to have it ready, but it turns out to record a video you have to press record. Who knew, right? So I am doing this again, uh, just going to talk about my thoughts on the episode, what I think is coming, blah blah blah. So one of the first things I wanted to talk about was the baby was born, uh, Rosamond or Rosie, um, which that name holds more significance later in the episode, uh, but I thought that was really cute. She was a cute kid. Um, my favorite part though with her is how Sherlock interacts with her. I think that's just it was great, the, like the little rattle scene, how he's saying, if you want this, you can't throw it, and she just throws it again. That was hilarious. I was really looking forward to seeing Sherlock interact with the baby. I think it's hilarious. The next thing I wanted to talk about was something that sort of weaved through the episode, but started in the beginning, um, was it is sort of suggested that, um, John is cheating on Mary because he meets that girl on the subway she gives him not on the subway but on the bus and she gives him her number and they like you see him texting her but or someone it doesn't actually have her name on it even though I don't even know what her name is but um and the text suggests it could be cheating but it's not really said explicitly I I just think that's the most on John thing like like thing ever like it's not it's not him it's not something he I feel like it's not something he would do and I get it it's kind of like they just wanted to make John seem less perfect maybe I guess I think I don't know if it's really going to be an affair type thing in the end like we don't know for sure that's what happened I kind of hope it isn't be not just for like the sake of him not cheating but it just doesn't seem like something he would do. I, I, it felt, it felt out of place for me, character-wise. It didn't seem, didn't seem like John. One of the other big parts of this episode is they introduced how they are going to be weaving Moriarty into this season, because that was the big cliffhanger last season, um, was that he came up on the screen saying, miss me. Uh, I kind of wish he was actually alive, and I'm still not convinced that he isn't, but uh, I do like the idea that he just, he left this game behind, like one last game for Sherlock to solve. Um, I'm very interested to see what it is. He's, uh, he was my favorite villain that's been on Sherlock, definitely. Because um, he's just so, so interesting to watch. And he's, the most interesting parts of him, for me, is when he interacts with Sherlock. I think just having those two people in a room and that, level of like just insane geniusness uh interacting with each other is just really incredible to watch and that's why I wish he wasn't dead because I would like to see that again um and let's be real if there's someone who can fake shooting themselves in the brain it would be him uh, so I'd love to see him back, plus I love the actor. One of the things that, uh, I think the big thing that the episode focused on was the past, like learning more about Mary's past, um, because she definitely has a lot of secrets. Um, there, she, we learned that the initials on that flash drive were not her initials, but the initials of the team she was on, the secret service team, um, which was an interesting twist. I liked that. I, I liked learning a little bit more about what happened to her and why she got out of the business. Um, I have to rewatch the episode because I didn't completely understand what exactly happened when that mission went wrong or went terribly wrong, they kept saying. Uh, but I understood enough that she, um, she thought she was the only one that survived and blah 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 and so she just escaped and because she thought she, I think she, I don't know if she really felt guilt because she felt like it was her fault. I don't know if I don't know if that's how she saw it, but she wanted to move on, and um, <laughs> but she didn't know that actually. I think two other people of the team survived, but one of them died being tortured, and the other one made it those six years, uh, and then came to hunt her down because he thought it was all her fault, 
because uh, he thought she started it or something. That's where I get a little fuzzy on who did what, but, um, like, what the truth is, but I think that's kind of the point, because who knows really what the truth is with Mary. Uh, which, that leads into the big thing that happened this episode, which I did not expect them to start the season off with, it, um, was that Mary dies at the end of the episode. Uh, I... I like Mary and I was sad to see her go but I didn't like cry or anything because I didn't really think it was real. I'm like oh we'll save her it's fine. But no they didn't. Um, I thought it I liked the way she went out like that saving Sherlock um, and her little I don't really remember all that she said when she was dying because she, she talked a lot for for literally dying she was yapping but um it was a good death scene. It was sad. Uh, I liked John John's reaction. Like, Martin Freeman's acting in that scene was just really, really amazing. Um, but it was it was a sad scene. I really, I really didn't expect them to kill Mary. Uh, that was a surprise. And I think the biggest thing, though, the biggest change this is going to be to the show is that I is John is blaming it on Sherlock, which I don't, like, I understand from John's point of view, but I don't really think he's justified in being so mad at Sherlock, uh, because it wasn't his fault. Like, yeah, Mary saved, um, Sherlock by throwing herself in front of the bullet, and John's also mad that Sherlock broke the vow that he would always protect them. Uh, but, you know, if you want to talk about vows John let's you know supposed to cheat but anyway if that's even really happening but um I think I mean Sherlock is a genius but he's not a superhuman he couldn't have changed what happened uh but I mean I guess he could have tried or he could have pushed the secretary murder or less uh but mm, I don't think it was Sherlock's fault and I don't think it was Mary's fault. If anything, it's the crazy, crazy secretary. But I think the saddest part of the episode is when Sherlock goes, it's towards the end, and Molly answers the door with Rosie because she was watching the baby. And um, Sherlock tries to say, like, I'll do whatever I can to help. And he was like, or Molly said, John doesn't, you know, he doesn't want to talk to you. I thought that was the saddest part because... I understand John's angry and sad that he lost his wife, but I don't think Sherlock really deserves the hate and the anger. Um, I'm hoping in episode two there will be a time jump so they will have like moved on from that a little bit, uh, or somehow something will force them back together. I can see that being the case, uh, being the case, haha, <laughs> maybe it'll be a case. Uh, but I definitely look forward to the next episode, uh, I don't know what the title of the next one is, but I'm very excited. I feel like I've, like, the time flew in between these seasons, probably because we had that Christmas special thing or whatever that was. Um, because that, that was, gave us a little bit as we waited. Uh, I'm so excited for this season to unfold. This is one of my favorite shows. So, uh, next week I will post a review for this as well. Um, or for the episode as well, and for the third one. Uh, as for now, um, tomorrow I plan to film a review for the newest Shadowhunters episode, because season two just started, and maybe some other stuff. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!